Welcome students. Today you're in for a treat because you get to um, hear a presentation on our research project for our class. But this is the one that I made. So it's called Online Learning During the Pandemic, COVID-19, A Teacher's Perspective of What Are Effective Strategies to Meet Children's Needs. And my name is Alice, and this class is Education, Multiple Subjects, Growth and Development in Social Educational Context. And our professor is Dr. Young Wang. And today is Saturday, May 8th, 2021. So the focus issue is topic is um, online learning during during the pandemic COVID-19, a teacher's perspective on what are effective strategies to meet children's needs. I, I would like to learn the following effective strategies teachers use that raise students achievement levels, how teachers strive during COVID-19 and some challenges that teachers face during COVID-19 and some encouraging items during COVID-19 to meet children's needs. My justification for this research project is to best meet the needs of children. This topic is also very important because you can see hope and encouragement during a crisis and learn how to cope, strive, and meet children's needs in challenging times. You want to be an effective teacher for children in tough times. You think this is tough, but see the children and know it is worth it. To begin, COVID-19 has caused teachers, parents, and students to adapt. Many did not want to stay home, but thought, do you want to go to school or stay healthy and alive? So altogether, we are striving to do well virtually. Briefly, Nova A. McIntosh, the author of this article, noted on page 162 that it is important to construct community and social justice to help pre-service teachers meet children's needs during the pandemic by adapting and changing to many online meetings. My analysis is in comparing my three articles called physical activity and daily routine among children ages zero to 12 during the COVID-19 pandemic in Spain, Knowledge, Attitudes, and Practices Toward COVID-19, a cross-sectional study in South Korea. And in the spirit, helping pre-service teachers thrive during the pandemic through adaptation and change. My final thoughts are, it is no easy task to meet children's needs. A thought is, it is so dark in the world now with fear the pandemic and death, but you need to keep trying. Do not give up. It is important to strive and like Martin Luther King noted, you cannot get rid of darkness with darkness, you need light. So it was great to find strategies even during the pandemic to meet children's needs. Parents who had routines were more successful in completing physical activities with their children. The benefits of this is if you have a balanced schedule, you take care of yourself by exercising your brain and your body. The bad point about this is that many students are just not doing exercise and rely on coaches and PE teachers for this. The good part about attitudes and practices toward COVID-19 is that it shows a view in South Korea that gives others a model to use to practice good hygiene to keep people healthy. The bad part of this is that some disadvantaged people are not practicing good hygiene and getting ill and not meeting their well being needs. This is important because many teachers note that classroom management is around 80% of the job. So this relates to child well-being health behaviors because the adults model for the children's preventative behaviors like personal hygiene, social distancing, and wearing masks. This study shows a socioeconomic status cognitive gap, which is important 
to know so all children and people can be educated. This study shows that one size fits all does not fit here, but a person-centered approach because it can be hard for the disadvantaged to get correct needed behavior and beliefs to participate in pre preventative measures. The great part of this article is that it shows that the pre-service teachers strive to meet the needs of students even during a pandemic. It is great that the teachers adapted and used technology to build a community, facilitates student engagement, deliver content and assess student groups. It is great that they were able to be positive and maintain encouragement during a crisis. The difficult part is many people are still not adjusted. Many no happy parents help kids feel happier and many parents and moms would like their children to go to school like normal so they can also go back to work. Also, it is hard for children not to have their peers. I like that the pre-service teachers could disrupt unjust systems and barriers and connect with the world by using technology. My literature reviews help me better understand my research questions by learning three new studies that enhance my understanding through specific examples shown in each article. My analysis can support my own practice when I become a teacher or parent by instilling confidence that there are so many people in the world that care. They are doing research on various topics like physical education, health, and encouraging students to be successful even during a pandemic and many more great works to meet children's needs who are the future leaders of the world. Also, I connected chapter 13 from our book called Self-Regulation and Motivation to In the Spirit, helping pre-service teachers thrive during their pandemic through adaptation and change because the teachers meet the students' needs through their intrinsic motivation and planning to meet children's diverse needs. Implications, suggestions for education or parents, teachers, students, or others are keeping trying your best. It is worth it. You are a scholar or emerging scholar. You are important and loved. Keep adapting and doing your best. The above research helps parents, teachers, and students to think about evaluation and assessments in physical activity, emotional well-being, and health. It is also shows pre-service teachers adapting and taking strides to meet children's needs. Also, public health practitioners and policymakers can promote knowledge and understanding to support children and people in disadvantaged areas. Some limitations of the articles are that it only covers small groups. You wonder how accurately it can apply to your situation. Some suggestions I have for future studies is do more research with more children in various states in the world. To conclude, the three articles in this research project were encouraging and motivating. They revealed challenges and various strategies to effective teaching to meet children's needs during a pandemic. I would recommend teachers to use self-motivation, regulation, social emotional skills and well-being ideas found in the articles to meet children's needs. I think this is motivating for the students and meets needs that raise students' achievement levels. I read in the above articles how striving, persevering teachers meet children's needs and raise student achievement. Thank you.